Hey guys, welcome back to Green Tea Garden. So right now I'm behind of the greenhouse and this is my pak choy. This is one garden bed that's all pak choy plant and they're literally bolted. They're growing yellow flowers. So if you guys are really new and your first time planting pak choy or you, you want to know why they're growing yellow flowers, uh, it's bolted meaning the end of the cycle of the plant. Uh, you cannot save the plant basically. Uh, so what you could do is harvest all your plant. If you need this space, you could pull out the plant, which I'm going to do right now and show you guys. But uh, if you need more se seed, uh, harvest all the leaves, leave the yellow flowers, and they'll grow into pods. And you're going to get seed pods so you can store those seeds for later on. But today, uh, due to the hot weather, we really had some really hot weather. And come tomorrow, is going to be 75. Friday is going to be 75 which will automatically bolt all of them because that's really too hot for pak choy. And if you're new guys, don't forget, subscribe is 100% free. And if you click the bell icon, every time I upload a video, you guys will get it right away. And I have a lot of videos coming up on Green Tea Garden. I'm gonna show you guys, pull this out from the root. You see the root is not that big. You wanna make sure you hit all your soil, get all your soil out in the bed. And what you could do is break off all the way to the root part. This part we're gonna do garbage that part and this right here we're gonna we harvest this part so normally i break off all the leaves like that and they got muddy but i'll wash them always wash your stuff off you never see you never know if you got slugs or bugs or anything off of it now you could eat this part i don't i just eat the leaves this part i'm gonna give my pet pig you could even like harvest the the leaves while they're on the plant just break them off pinch them out or use a pruner and then at the end just pull out your plant guys you don't need it so some quick tips as i'm harvesting when growing pak choy guys you know start seeding indoor it's better and it grows really fast germinate really fast the seeds they germinate really fast you want to make sure uh when you plant them you want to keep them spaced about six to eight inches apart and keep a nice healthy soil loosen up your soil they don't need deep containers if you're going to do containers or area the roots are very uh short uh if you guys could see right here look see that that's the roots only so they could grow in like your stackable smaller containers so this way they don't take off a lot of space in your garden or area but uh they bolt really fast guys if the wet is over 70 degrees forget about it it bolt uh, if you miss watering for three, four days and the plant dry out, it bolt. If the wind is too much, uh, it's it put a lot of stress on the pak choy plant. So these guys bolt. I know some people like so. Even why? Why I even bother planting this or growing this? Is it really worth it to grow pak choy? Absolutely, guys. As I said, it's very tasty. It grows fast. Uh, you got a short season of growing it you know you start early spring way before spring indoor you can start two three weeks indoor and then um transplant outside or keep in containers and get you know you'll get at least a three four harvest that's what i got before bolting and then you still while it bolt just pick out all your leaves you still another harvest even the buds if you guys want to eat them and that's your last harvest but you know three four harvest you can't go wrong so uh, what i just harvest there it's a nice size uh, container. I'm gonna give my pet pig. I have a whole bunch more to give him, but I have to give him in separate time or he eats too much. So you see this beautiful rich green. Guys, this is organic. You grow this from home, from compost, from soil to seed. Remember, whatever you grow, always be grateful, always be appreciated and be proud of yourself because you guys are growing and growing your own food, harvesting your own stuff, saving money and there's so much stress going on in the world right now. So this garden right now is the best thing that we could do. You know, keep us living a longer and living a happier life. And plus we could share with our animals, family, friends, neighbors and everyone. Pep, Pepper, come on. He's always, the yard is a mess in this section. Come on, Pepper. So we're gonna give him there. Come on, see if you can eat that up. Yep. He likes fresh garden stuff. Well, normally pigs, they'll eat anything and everything. But this guy's picky. So he, since he was a baby, he's eating fresh veggies. And he loves it. Trying to keep him healthy and in shape. All right, so I have a... Check out my playlist if you guys need more tips uh, for growing a better home garden, guys. I have a lot of videos on my playlist. And I always share my videos to help others. And I do appreciate everyone that subscribed. Thank you so much for watching Green Tea Garden.